Hello, I'm Bob Dickinson of Innovice, and we're looking at EPA SWIM 5.1.007. And what we want to do is look at the uh, map display in EPA SWIM 5 so that we can find out why and if something is, um, our model is flooding. So here we run our model, and we determine two different ways. We can look at the status and look if the internal outflow is is greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, then there's internal flooding. Um, if it's zero, it either means there's no flooding or we have turned on ponding allowed. Ponding allowed, which stores um, excess water at the at the nodes. So to see if there's um, flooding at the nodes, we can go then go to summary, look at um, node flooding, and there's a lot of flooding. Here's the maximum rate, the ponded amount, etc. So what we can do is we can look at um, uh, a map theme for, for a model. We can look at node flooding, link capacity, which goes from 0 to 1. And we can step through time. So as we step through time, we start to see flooding occurring at the nodes. And the link's getting um, full. Uh, a, one, a value of 1 for the link means that the, the link is full. And then we come to the end, and the, and the links are still full, but the flooding is, is reduced quite a bit. You might wonder how you can see that mapping. Well, you go to, you go to um, Options, Annotation, you turn on Link Values, you go to, um, you go to uh, Labels, and um, you can pick what you see on that screen. And to make the really dynamic, you can, you can change this so that the, the value of the nodes and the value of the link is proportional to, um, to, to that value, I mean to, um, to the value of the, of the node or link. So that's a little bit of, about doing a map display in, in um, SWIM 5. You can find out where the nodes are flooding, etc. And what you can do is then resize the pipes. For example, in this particular case, the pipes are all one foot in diameter, one meter in diameter. Okay, thank you for listening, and I hope you uh, learned a little bit about map display in SWIM 5.